I thought I'd try to explain to you guys. I, I really wondered whether or not to to try to explain this. I've decided to try to explain this as uh, because of this last energy, um, intense energy shift that we've had, and there's been so many people reporting, uh, feeling it that I thought I would try to explain how this works. Uh, you guys know that a lot of Gaia has already moved into uh, fifth dimension. The only part left were the lowest, most broken vibrations of the planet, which is why we're all here and a lot of the star seeds are feeling um, very sad and upset because in order for us to help correct this deepest most broken part of the planet we had to be able to be that low ourselves and that explains a lot of the trauma that we've had so that we could do this job this part of the job now there have been a lot of other star seeds that are already in 5d now that helped the grids and think layer upon layer upon layer that are all attached to each other so the higher levels there were star seeds that helped raise that layer high to get into 5D. Then there was a next layer lower, and there were star seeds that helped that raise to 5D on and on and on and on, layer after layer after layer after layer. The, the layers that we're on now are the lowest layers. They're the most broken layers. They are the weakest layers. Uh, there's a lot of, on that baseline, underlying energy grid that are, it's very, very um, intricate, but it takes a lot of energy to feed it all the way around the planet because there are, it is so intricate that it just takes a lot of energy to feed through all that intricate, intricate webbing of energy that feeds this part of the planet, the only part that's left. So the reason why the star seeds are here is number one, you have to be able to access, get on those lower levels in order to correct those lower levels. Okay? So um, I thought that after I died that this would be more of a gradual process, but it has not been. What has happened is there seems to be a, a building and then a a sudden fixing of a lot of the grid and a, a, a sudden influx of a lot of energy to correct those and then there's like a lot of fixing going on and then it'll ease up for a little bit like the energy is there and then people are going through and, and connecting all of those little energy grids with that new energy and then when that's done there's another energy hit and a lot more little correcting of the, that tiny little energy grid. Does that make sense? So this last one was probably the biggest one I have felt since I died. It is pretty darn massive. And everyone is busily, very, very busy when they're sleeping. So if you guys feel very tired after a night's sleep, that's why. If you're sleeping longer, that's why. So just try to get as much sleep as you can. And don't worry about it. What you're doing over there, you handle. It doesn't have anything to do with the, your human um, consciousness in this body. The job is getting done. You're getting it done. Okay? So just try to take care of your human body. Take care of yourself as much as you can. And uh, it's, it's, it's going very well. It's, it's going very fast. And it's, doing, uh, it's going much better than I expected it to, to go this fast. It's pretty amazing. Um, I don't know if after you feel past that intensity hit, I feel much better, lighter, uh, brighter colors, everything is more defined. Um, I can certainly see a lot of movement in the energies. It's hard to walk because everything looks like it's moving around me all the time. Uh, so yeah, and that's really, I'm going to keep this short because it's really, I want to keep it simple because although it's a very complex procedure in, at this point, uh, it is that simple when it's explained okay does that make sense all right guys that's it huge hugs i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you later bye